What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh review. iOS 11.1.2 was just released to the public and in this video I wanted to do a review of all the new bug fixes in iOS 11.1.2, everything that's new as well as do a quick update on the jailbreak. So let's jump right into the video. Now similar to iOS 11.1.1, iOS 11.1.2 does not have too many outward facing features. There are a few bug fixes and I just wanted to do a quick little update now that it is released. So let's jump into those features. So I will jump into the photos application here guys and you can see here iOS 11.1.2 on the iPhone 10 comes in at 51.5 four megabytes. Very, very small update here. And they did include a small little change log as well. They did say that it did fix an issue where the iPhone 10 screen becomes temporarily unresponsive after a rapid temperature drop. Now I have actually experienced this out in the cold. It's just starting to get cold here up in the Northeast. So I have experienced this. The screen kind of goes laggy for a second and then you get control of it, but it doesn't respond to the touch at first. So that has been fixed on iPhone 10. And then also actually fixed an issue that caused distortion in live photos and videos on the iPhone 10. I have not experienced that issue, but that is also fixed now in iOS 11.1.2. Now installation just takes a couple of minutes, really not long at all. And as you guys can see beforehand, I actually had 29.4 gigabytes available. After installing, I actually had 29.68. So I did gain a little bit of storage. That actually is a little bit noticeable. So that's always good. It seems like the trend here is when you do install a new update, it actually clears out some cache space and you do gain a little bit of storage back. Now, honestly, guys, outside of the storage that I gained back and those bug fixes, I have not noticed really almost almost anything new at all. It really is just as smooth as it used to be. Apps just work the same way. Nothing really loads faster. It doesn't really feel any different at all. Now, because there weren't too many features, I did want to make this video actually a little interesting for you guys. So I did run another performance test before installing. This is on iOS 11.1.1. I did have a single core score of 4238 and a multi-core score of 10350. And after installing, I had 4243 single core score and 10459 multi-core score on iOS 11.1.2. So quite a bit of performance gain there in the multi-core score, but not really on the single core score, but it did improve slightly in the single core score regardless. So definitely good to see the performance actually increasing there, but it does really actually feel the same guys. Nothing really loads too much quicker. Uh, it is just as stable guys, but you will gain a little bit of performance back, which is very, very good. Now I did want to touch on the jailbreak briefly as well. Now news did break last week that there is a working jailbreak for the iPhone 10 out there. It actually was showed off at the POC 2017 event in South Korea guys by Liang. Chen of Keen Lab. It actually was working on iOS 11.1.1. Honestly, the only comments I have about this is I can't really make any videos until the public release is available. But I remember on iOS 10, it did take quite some time for this actually to be available to the public. And if Apple keeps pumping out bug fixes like this, guys, it's going to make it a little bit difficult for any jailbreakers to actually use those bugs to actually implement a jailbreak. So honestly, all I can say now is I will stay up to the jailbreak. I will actually post news when there is news updates available that are major because it's just a little bit annoying to play the cat and mouse game. Apple's going to constantly be pumping out these bug fixes for the iPhone 10. And because of that, it's going to make it very, very hard to jailbreak until someone actually takes the time to do so, or until we have a final stable firmware. So it could potentially be iOS 11.2, which will implement more features for the iPhone 10, as well as possibly the ability to be jailbroken, because that's going to be a stable release. Anyway, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will also have all my social media links down there in the description for you guys to check out. So definitely follow those and stay up to date with me. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Stay awesome and stick around for more iPhone 10 content. Peace.